myth of hypnosis, only certain people can be hypnotized. Well, actually, that's a misconception. Hypnosis is a natural state of mind. We move in and out of hypnotic states or trance states throughout different activities throughout our day. So if you've ever been driving down the freeway and missed a freeway exit, well, your body was on autopilot and your mind was wandering somewhere else. We call this highway hypnosis. Or if you've ever read a really good book and you're so into this book that you can even, in your mind, see the characters and the story and the background like it's playing out like a movie, that you have these images in your mind, well, that's like reading hypnosis, that it's not really happening, but the words, the scenes are playing out in your mind. For most people really enjoy the relaxing nature of hypnosis. And it's all about calming down, relaxing that busy mind, that monkey mind, so that you can listen to the more subtle um, habits, patterns of your unconscious mind, but also to help change whatever your unconscious mind is running automatically. I often explain that it's the mind works in layers. And think of the layers, think of the image of an iceberg. In an iceberg, there's the top part above the water, but it's a much smaller portion of the iceberg. It's only about 10%. The bigger portion of the mind is below the surface that we don't see, and it's responsible for whatever is running automatically. So this represents your unconscious mind. I like to call it the automatic mind. It's in charge of automatic habits, patterns, behaviors. So we have habits in what we do, which are obvious, like smoking or overeating, but we also have habits in what we think how we feel. And it's these thinking and feeling habits that are actually driving the iceberg. It's actually running our life. So most people recognize there's kind of a disconnect between what we say we want to do at the conscious level, but then I can't make myself stay on track. I'm not taking the actions that I said I wanted to take. I'm, you know, not getting to the gym. I'm not eating the right foods. And we find this kind of battle against these aspects. I want these goals, but I'm just procrastinating, putting things off or not following through. So if you want to get your brain on board with your goals and what you want to be achieving and creating in your life, then you really need to update the unconscious mind. We can set all the logical, rational goals that we want, but if the unconscious mind, the automatic part of your mind is not on board, you're going to continue to struggle and even fight yourself in creating the results that you want. So if you're interested in finding out more information about hypnosis and the process, go ahead and click the links below and you'll find out more videos and resources and see if hypnosis works for you. I'm Holly Stokes with The Brain Trainer. I'll see you next time.